Hello there, Sagittarius. How's it going, you guys? <clears throat> it's time for your reading. My name is Kelly, and it looks like a really good reading. Of course, you guys always get the good readings. I don't. I don't get it. I wish. I wish Pisces always got this good of a reading. Um, but uh, anyway, yeah, the first reading you have here is Pertho. And this is, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, <laughs> this is Pertho. The first rune you have here is Kanaz. And Kanaz is, it's straight out, you know? And so this is victory and success. Victory and success. And it, it has something to do with, um, you know, now that I'm really looking at it, see, with Pertho here next to it, Maybe there's some sort of secret that you've got here, uh, <clears throat> Sagittarius, and it's getting harder to keep. You see, I see over here, I see uh, Awas. Awas is, uh, is uh, it's like the death card. Okay, so this is uh, number 13, actually. Um, and you have it twice. So the, it seems to me like you're going through a major uh, change here. Okay, so things are really majorly changing for you, and they're changing for the for the much better. Um, I see Gable right here. This is blessings and gifts, all right? And the whole theme of this whole read is Fehu. Fehu is in the middle of your read, and Fehu is money. <laughs> money, money, money. It looks like you're going to have to make some sort of a decision and uh, and stand up for uh, for what you want. Okay, I see you doing that. <clears throat> see, look at you got the seven of wands. You've got the upper hand, Sagittarius. You see all these, you know, staffs down here pointing at you, but you know they're all kind of pointing at you. But you're up on the hill. You got the upper hand. Um, yeah, so just stand up for yourself. I see you doing that. You could be dealing with a Pisces as well, uh, Sagittarius. I see, um, the King of Cups here. This is Pisces energy, all right? And it's also talking about controlling your emotions, all right? Um, now I see Othal over here. <clears throat> this Piscean could be a family member or it could just be, um, you know, some someone else. But this is talking about for sure family of some sort because I see Baraka here next to it. Um, Baraka and Othal, you know, together to me, that kind of like sounds like family. All right. Hmm. Interesting reading. So, I, I, you know, whatever it is that you're looking for here, Sagittarius, or you're, you're trying to do, you're going to become victorious over it. You have uh, the Six of Wands. This is, this is uh, victory and success. And look at all the people here around you cheering you on. So, um, I see money for sure. Come, I see you making some money or bringing some money Getting something about some money. It's going to be very successful. All right. So, yeah. And, you know, it could be some sort of a decision to, you know, um, for some of you Sagittarians, I, I think that, you know, maybe you see, I see the blank rune here. You know, this could be talking about and I see family here. You know, maybe you're thinking about uh you know, helping a family member as well. Yeah, that could be it too. So let me see. What else is going on here with Sagittarius? I'm going to pull one of these Oracle cards here. The Tree of Life. Ooh, interesting card. <clears throat> kind of recently pulled that for somebody I don't know if it was for us or, or for Sagittarians or for Pisces or who but I know I pulled that tree that tree of life 
there it is, at some point in time, to find health and balance in your life, reflect on on how you dance with your actions, your thoughts, and your feelings. And this is exactly what Pertho is talking about, too, okay? Um, yeah, it, it's... It's talking about your thoughts, okay? So try to not break, try to leave negative things from the past out of your thoughts, all right? I had to stop right there because I, I you know, that's definitely talking about Perthal right there. If you are too much in your thinking head, or the world of fantasies or daydreaming connect more with the roots of your physical body. If you're caught in the mechanical doing you're, and you're feeling stuck, <clears throat> not able to imagine a better life for yourself, open, up, open yourself up to be inspired by the heavens. Let your roots and branches be aligned with your heart's longings. All right? So basically, um, I'm glad I pulled the. I'm glad I pulled these oracle cards. They help out so much with the readings. You know, this really is clearly talking about Pertho, um, with it in reverse here. It's talking about uh, not, uh, you know, not concentrating on negative thoughts, and you're going to leave that behind because this is the death rune. So this is going away. All right, this, all this negative crap and stuff that maybe you've been thinking, it's going to go away. All right, so that's awesome. It's transforming into a blessing, and it's going to bring you money. <laughs> so, yeah, it looks really good there, uh, Sagittarius. As usual, you guys always get the good ones. Um, I want to pull... Um, a moon card here before I let you go. And also I want to let you guys know too that uh, I am offering uh, private readings. So I will leave a link uh, for that in the description if you're interested. Description of this video. New moon in Capricorn. Step up and lead. There you go. Step up and lead because you're going to be successful. I see, I see victory and success right there. All right. All right, Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed your reading. And if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again next week. All right. Bye for now, Sagittarius.